The quantities s and t are positive and are related by the equation of s equals k over t, where k is a constant. If the value of s increases by 50%, then the value of t decreases by what percent? Now, normally when we see this, you know, k is a constant, we kind of tend to say, great, that's, that's all well and good, let's get on with the problem. But it's really important here. This is really the essence of the problem. What is a constant? Well, it's a number that does not change, unlike, for instance, s and t. The problem tells us we can vary s and t, they're variables, but the k remains constant. So if we have this relationship, s equals k over t, let's pick three numbers where this is true. It can be any three numbers. Why don't we say um, 6 over 3 equals 2? Right? So in, in the case we're talking about, k is equal to 6, t is equal to 3, and s is equal to 2. This is a true statement, right? Well, the problem is saying once we've set this up, k remains constant, right? k remains 6. So here's what we're going to do now. We're going to vary s and t. So let's increase s by 50%. Right? Increase our s, or increase 2 by 50%. Well, what's 50% of 2? It's 1. So increase 2 by 1, that gives us 3. So now we get 6 over t is equal to 3. But is this a true statement? Right? Is 6 over 3 equal to 3? It's not. In order to make this true, t needs to decrease down to what? Well, down to 2, right? Because 6 over 2 makes 3. So my new values for k, s, and t are k is 6, right? That doesn't change. t now is 2, and s is 3. So what did we do to s? We increased s by 50%, right? From 2 to 3. But we decreased t from 3 to 2. And if you know your percents, that is a 33% reduction, right? We, we decreased it by one-third. If you're a little rusty on percents, I would go review that. Answer here is B.